What's up? I'm Jacob Blitzo, your Elixir mentor. So we've got a bug in our code. One of my awesome community members brought this to my attention this week. Uh, we are not updating our gists when we push the update button. It's creating a new gist with the same data. So let's go ahead and just jump right in and get this fixed. Let's first just make sure our Postgres Docker image is running. Mine is, if yours isn't, go ahead and press play. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up my terminal, command space terminal, and then CD to my project. Mine is in documents, develop, Elixir mentor, and then Elixir gist. All right, and then let's go ahead and open VS code. And let's see, where do we need to start? We need to open up our, um, well, actually let's start our project. Um, let's get our terminal up. So mix phx dot server, and let's just quickly test out the bug so you guys see what's happening. And I'm going to just use data grip so we can see the existing gists that are made and I can show you that it's duplicating one instead of updating it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and hit refresh here. And we have two gists. I cleared them out so it's easier for us to see. And now if we jump into, let's see, we want Firefox up so we can go to our local host. Localhost 4000. Um, we got to log in. And let's see, Jacob at elixirmentor.com. Elixir Mentor, go ahead. We'll just create a gist right now. So we'll say a new gist. Um, we'll call this, let's see, handle create.ex. And I'm going to just grab some code. I feel like I came unprepared, but we're we're good. We're gonna we're gonna get this fixed. Let's see. We want our gist live HTML. Yep, this is okay. And then we're going to want our gist form component as well. I'm just going to come down here and let's go ahead and grab our handle create event right here. All right, and that is going to be the code that I insert. And then we hit create. So there we go, we have our code. And now if I pull up data grip again and hit refresh, now we have three, you see our handle create, we, our new gist is right down here. Now the bug, if I go to edit this, um, here, we'll just fix some space in here and we'll just say a new gist, we'll say an updated gist. And now when I hit update here, Okay, it updates, it looks like it updates, right? Everything is working. But then when we come over here, we're going to notice it duplicated our gist and we have a new ID. Let's go ahead and open up our gist live html.hex file. And you'll see right here where we have our live component, we pass in the gist ID here um, because we're using the ID to update our update and create button, but we forget to utilize it for uh, actually updating our gist because right now when we pass in our gist data right here, thus to form, we actually are losing our ID from our, our gist struct. And that's not what we want to happen, but it's fine because we have our ID right here. Enjoying the video? Show some love with a like and hit subscribe to stay updated. To support me and keep the content free, click join for memberships or pick up a course at elixirmentor.com and get free access to my private community. Let's jump back in. As a result of this, when we are in our gist form component, 
This ID, our params ID, it's coming from our gist. So we're passing in our assigns um, dot gist, right? And we have access to it as at form. And we're passing that form data into our create handle event here. So this ID is always nil because we lose it when we turn it into a form. So that is why when we hit update, we're actually creating a gist over and over and our update gist function is never getting called. So to fix this, we can just go up in our inside of our form data above our very first input, which is description. We're going to just create a hidden input here. And we can do that with uh, the less than percent equal. And we want to just have the percent, there we go. So now we can write some Elixir code in between here. And we can just call, we can call hidden input. And we're going to want to add a hidden input of ID to our form data. So we're going to say at form, and we want to insert a key ID. And our value for our ID is accessible through our assigns, which is at ID. So that's already there. And we're using our at ID right here for the button. So we're just, we just forgot to, we forgot that we didn't have access to our ID through the form. And now we will. This simple fix, just doing that now has a hidden input on our form data. So down here in our handle event, it will no longer uh, be nil, we'll have ID, but our when we're creating a new gist, we actually pass in the atom new. So we don't wanna check for nil anymore. We want to, we want to take our params ID, and if it's equal to new, we wanna create a new gist. So if we have the string new, we're gonna create a new gist. And if it's not new, that means if it has an ID, it's going to update our gist. And then since we actually never tested this, um, we're not going to want to do a push patch anymore. We're going to want to do a, a push navigate. And this is, we want our mount function to be called again. So we're going to have to do a push navigate here instead of a push patch a push patch in our update gist. So go ahead and save that. And now um, we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and um, we'll refresh this. And we have our, this is our updated gist. And what we'll do since our create event is now looking different, we're going to copy this one and update it now with the correct function since we fixed our code. So there we go. I'm passing in our new function where we're checking if the ID is equal to a new string or if it isn't equal to new, we're just updating an existing gist. So then hit update. Our code snippet has updated properly. That's awesome. And now when we go to data grip, this right here, um, this E4C ends in E4C, this should be updated. So we shouldn't have more than four objects in our database when I hit refresh. And there we go. So this updated properly and we can probably kind of, yeah, see, you can see that in our markup text, our params ID is being compared to the new string now. So we fixed our little bug I apologize for letting that sneak in. I should have caught it, but I never, I never double checked our data. So it's important to make sure you're calling the functions that you believe you're calling when you write code. Bugs happen, right? But that's okay. This was a quick fix, but now our update functionality is working properly. And as always, if you need help or want to check out the solutions, check out that GitHub link in the description. Join my Discord server, Elixir Mentor, if you have questions or want to just hang out and chat. That link is in the description as well. If you want to learn how to build scalable, production-ready, full-stack, and REST API solutions, hit that subscribe button now. I'm Jacob Litzo, your Elixir Mentor. I'll see you in the next video.